Hello friends, uh, today I am here to talk to you about how to get work online and how to work as a freelancer. Recently because of this COVID-19, uh, most of the people around the world lost their jobs and uh, they are struggling with financial problems. Well, I would like to advise that now it's time to learn how to work on internet and how to make money through internet uh, currently there are different websites available that you can use to get jobs online and deliver some services to them uh, some of them are like upwork guru top tell but here i would like to encourage you and i would like to recommend you uh, to start with the website named Fever. For beginner or the for freelancer who are just going to start their work, I think it is a very good platform, a platform which is very flexible. You can very easily learn how to use it and uh, how to sell your services. Uh, you can work for people, you can develop different projects, you can uh, edit some videos, but I will going to talk about this a bit later. What type of services you can provide to people over there. As a freelance user, firstly you need to know, you need to think about uh, what skill do you have. And you can sell this skill online. Uh, currently, I have seen different websites asking especially for web management for social media account management and for editing videos. Uh, this is type of work that you can easily do at home. You can just download some software and can do some editing. But uh, uh, the most common type of services that people provide on Fiverr and uh, which is which are mostly in demand on Fiverr are, are content writing uh, you can write contents for a blog uh, even you can write comments for a blog so this is also a job that uh, a blogger gives you a job that you need to write some comments on his blog on on or on her blog uh, similarly uh, you can do translation of document if you know more than one language it is very helpful for you to make an account over there so people that uh, you know different languages and you can translate their documents from one language to another language. Sim uh, similarly, uh, you can do something like making logos for different firms, uh, making their visiting cards online, uh, and you can even design stationery for them. It is very common on favor. Similarly, there are different other jobs you can do online. Uh, web designing is a very important type of job that you can easily get on Fiverr. Even if just you know WordPress, well, you can still offer your services. And then after you make a website, in most cases, people ask you to manage that website for them. Uh, they ask you to uh, change some color, some background, and some more contents they need so it's a job that you always that it is a type of work or a type of contract uh, that gives you job and you are continue to work with that company or with that person or that firm you are always editing their work making some changing in blogs uh, it's very simple and it don't take much time to learn i would recommend you that just think what interests you more even if you don't have that skill now you can easily see a tutorial on web on google and you can see videos on youtube how to do editing of video for example if you have good voice you can do voiceover which is actually in very high demand people are doing voiceover for uh, different games uh, they are doing voiceover for movies for cartoons so it is a very good job and it is very it is in very good demand. 
Uh, in later part of this video, I will show you like how you can make account of Fever and how you can get job from there. While making account on Fever, you need to uh, know about some details. You need to know that if you are going to offer them that you want to edit their video. So how much time? How much time do you need for it? You don't need four days, five days, and what is the money that you ask them for doing their job? In mostly I saw that when people make their account on Fever for their first job, they start from five dollar to ten dollars per gig. And gig, what is gig? A gig is a profile of a person, or is a profile of a job of a person. For example. Uh, if I want to translate a document, I want to provide my services as a translator, I will make a small profile on Fever. A name of profile can be like a translator. And then I will uh, enter all details regarding my job. I will tell them that how long I am working there, uh, how much money do I want from them, and uh, how much time it will take. And this all profile, this profile, this will be called a gig. I can make multiple gigs on my account. I can make another gig for web content writing. And similarly, I will enter our information over there. That what I can do, which time I need, how much money I need from, the, from them, and so on. So I think this introduction is enough to start with Fever and to start working on Fever. So now I will take you to my computer and we'll show you how you can make account over fever. So, come, let's go there. Hi everyone. As I said you earlier, that I will show you how you can create different gigs on fever.com. So, let's go to the website. This is how the website of fever.com looks like. Here, you can make your account Creating account is very simple. It is simpler, similar to how you make an account on Google or any other social media website. When you create your account, you give them your email address, your password, your username, and you can enter there also your logo, how it will look like, your profile picture as we used to see on different social media. So here you can see that uh, this fever.com allow you to make an account as a seller as well as a buyer as a seller you make an account when you want to sell some services to a client and if you want to buy a service then you need to create an account as a buyer and actually if you have one account then you can easily switch to another account right now I have logged in as a buyer account but anytime I can switch to a seller when I log in as a buyer account I can see gigs of different people on their web page you see there are different gigs of different people I can actually choose the area it is interested to me if I want someone uh, to work as this far in my um, graphics or to make a logo for myself I will click here logo design and I can see gigs of people who are offering their services to design a logo you see here name profile name log of flow cost of $1.15 so it means that if I create a logo for myself he will charge me $1.15 and there are also some people $1.40 $1.15 other than just logo there are definitely some different requirements and based on those requirements they actually ask a specific amount of money from a buyer right now since I am working here see login as a buyer I can see what people are offering what service they are offering 
what are the prices digital marketing i can go there i can buy some service if i want to translate my text i can go to translation and i will see that people have different gigs for translating text in different languages you see english spanish here portugal portuguese language then here you can see french spanish english and so so on right now i just want to show you how you can create a gig for yourself right like how you can sell a service to a buyer for this i firstly need to switch my account to a seller and switch to seller. i just click there and now my account is open this is my profile picture and there is my profile name team underscore spark actually i didn't it's not been long time since i made that profile new prof profile for my work and that is why you don't see any earning over there yet and i just have i think one or two gigs so far active but here just it is this account is actually just to for an example to show you how you can make an account and how you can actually create a gig here you have dashboard messages like if your client can give you messages also you can get messages from admin of favor.com others messages for others gigs so i have now two active gigs if i want to create a new gig i just need to create click on this button create a new gig first of all i need to choose the title of my gig and on which topic or you can say what service i want to sell over here so i just want need to write there few words and maximum can be 80 okay i will do or i will do translation of your english language text since i have installed an auto vocabulary corrector so even is choosing all problems in the grammatic syntax okay so you see he said just, just perfect so the over that is the category requirements of favor.com now we select a category so it is main category writing and translation subcategory subcategory let's choose translation okay now language please select the language so here we need to choose that between which languages do we want to translate a text let's see from something for example from english to i don't know i'm just choose any language to find the fetch check okay next document type so uh, it is uh, the text is from a book from a literature it is from literature it is some type of financial report any legal document market or share contact content containing document it is a resume or cv or usual manual list click cvs or resume okay industry industry expert expertise so just others then we need to say, okay let's leave it blank it's not necessary okay Trans. so then we need to search them takes for our gig but take is all the word that help our buyer to search over gig so we can write something similar to translation let's see translate or translate think does it expect does it accept it you want continue let's see 
yeah everything was fine so we already finished our first step now we go to second step and here uh, we need to write about pricing now how much money are we asking from our buyer okay so here we have three different categories and three different type of packages we can offer to our buyer first one is basic standard and premier now well, you see you know, as you know that if even if you buy any software then also there are different categories you can uh, buy basic standard or premier premier is like you can give more features to them and uh, you can do some more reviewing in them and here it is standard this is basic so name of basic is let's write it let us write it simple let's write it complex and Premier, let's uh, write Premier Advanced. Okay, let's get the detail of your offering. Um, let's, for example, one we are trying to take one resume consist of two. Two pages for standard one resume consist of four pages and for advanced one resume consist of more than four pages delivery time how much in how much time we can do it over the delivery time it's very important because everyone want their work to be done very efficiently so let's write it two days for example here we can write four days and if we have more than four pages we can say like maybe eight days again so if something our buyer don't like about our translation he can ask us for it again within the same cost so how many times a revision we allow Let's make it like one. So one time allowed even is free free of cost. One one. Okay. Words included. How many words in that uh, two pages? Let's make them before it. Okay, I'm not taking like this, let's make it like this. Okay. Now we are just making an exemplary profile and exemplary gig, so we can just, for example, we can choose a figure, a number. Here should be more. Okay, so, so do that. We do proofreading also. Let's. Said that if it is a premier package, then we will do also proofreading. Proofreading document formatting. So, for next two, we will do document formatting also because price is also high. Language style editing. Let's leave it for last one. Transcription. Let's do it here and here. Subtitling. Let's put it over here. Okay. Now, price. How much price are we asking from our buyer? Mm -hmm. Let's make it like twenty dollars for two pages. For example, thirty-five dollars for four pages. And if pages are more than four, as we already mentioned up, let's make it sixty-five dollars. Okay. Additional what extra fast delivery so you can choose uh, I think these are extra services So here if you want to say then that if you want your work to be done not in two days, but in two hours so I will ch charge you extra amount maybe if you pay me like this $20 I will ask you 10 more dollars then $30 I can do in two hours But these are extra things that you can write over there Okay, let's save and change. 
scope and pressing so something is missing additional review and price cannot be empty okay so additional review price uh, here over here so if as we already mentioned there that we are allowing them one time review and within same cost if they still they are not satisfied they want us to make another review of the document of their resume so we can charge some extra cost from them and write time period like how much time do we need more now what gigs item expected us must be getter are equal to one Gig item expected expected duration must be greater than equal to one. So duration let's touch for everything, maybe it will be oh let's do some devices. Okay, profiting if it's a profiting. No. Okay, now let's see. Like it's extra for duration, it must be shorter than the gig delivery distance. Okay, let's make it one. So this photo has the said that. Now what? Like it's extra fast duration, it must be shorter than gig duration. Let's change a bit. Why is okay? Ah, oh, extra fast. Okay, let's make it one. Let's make it two. Let's make it one house. Like let's make it one house. So now everything is fine. Now here we need to describe your gig in detail. Okay, so we can write like we are expert in translating documents and do their and to do their and to do their proof reading. For example, just write this one. This is additional. If you want, you can ask some, you can write some different uh, questions that a buyer can ask from you, and even you can write their answers. So it will be more simple for him to know your requirements and how you work. This can should be at least 120 critical line. Okay, let's try something more. Okay. We also do interpretation of text written in different languages. I think now it should be fine. So then now the next one is requirement. Requirements that uh, what you want from your buyer just to start working on that document okay we can write that we need we need the document that required translation and also the Requirements of the translation. Okay. We can add more. 
requirements more if we need if if we have we need something more than one then we can add over there clicking the button eight and we can get more place to write some more requirement anyhow we can do save and continue okay in last or the second last portion we can put a video about our gig how we work there and we can select a picture let's choose a picture so i have different pictures over there let's do something like this one so now it is successfully uploaded okay great we can do save and continue almost there so now we can just click here and publish our gig we did it your gig is on is now live here we can see gigs there should be now three different gigs so they are that one just we just did and here are all the information and specification that we wrote there so it's published now now any buyer can when he will click on translating services he can find our gig there and if he find it attractive then he will contact to us in uh, next upcoming videos i will tell you about how can you make your gigs more attractive and uh, how can you get attention from more buyer well, i think you will like this video of today and if you like it please don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video and comment on it okay thank you bye bye